Roy's review of uh, this Minolta M50 HD. Yeah, figure you've probably seen you probably already seen the test footage, and if even if you haven't, do look at do look at it. But even now, even then, I think the first the first thing the first part part to uh, bring up in this uh, review is that this uh, Minolta at least provides somewhat at least uh, video quality. It's, that's probably better than to say this uh, shitty ass camera right here. That shitty ass camera. That you could probably buy a fucking Walmart. This is so shitty anyway, it's not even fucking funny. I think the problems with this is that it has no optical zoom. But one of the fun parts about it is it has this, uh. Like it has this, uh. light right here. But it's not, uh, much of an optical light. Yeah, I figure this is like all. But the fun but interesting part about this is. It comes on and. <laughs> That's like one of the fun and interesting parts about it. Flips out, which is good anyway. Flips out, and uh, that's and that's and that's a good feature right there. But then it gives you probably modes and uh, and this uh, screen here, this view fight, this viewing screen here, is actually touch sensitive. So if you have say one of those styluses, says you could probably use that, but and it just says it uh, takes uh, twenty megapixel uh, pictures, but. Or say if you're taking pictures, but but the purpose for camp for, for items like this would be if it's for videos, <laughs> like if you're say filming record filming videos. One of the other setbacks is that this does not have uh, the ability to zoom in directly, like say you know macro type of videos. You can it doesn't have to have that feature anyway. I don't know why. Who knows. Yeah, figure the hand strap is also good. That's a good feature, but I like that uh, shitty uh, O oh, and camera I just showed you. This has the. Uh, this also has a a place to plug in HDMI, and it does come with a cable anyway. But also a USB uh, port. But uh, this will not take anything higher than say that below here is you put your battery there, which is rechargeable. That's an advantage. And it takes uh, and it takes like up to say 32 gigabyte SD HC cards. You can't put anything higher than 32 gigabyte on there, so Now this is really superior lighting here. But even then, there's even then, there's even then, there's, like, people looking to. That's uh, when it comes to star video cameras. This will be. This would probably be a much better star camera. 
like figure some time back there was like uh yeah but only difference as I said even it says on a Minolta it's not like the it's not like the it's not like the Minolta cameras that I uh, used to be probably was familiar with back in the day like figure the company makes it it's called Elite Brands but they say they call it Minolta camera but it's only but it's only Minolta and may name only this is probably to say they probably I'm sure the Elite Brands will probably sell, could probably sell this particular video camera under a different name plate if they want to I a different name like Coleman or Bell and Howe, whatever. Basically, it would just be called Badge Engineering, is what they call it. A term that's more like that's more used in, say, the automotive industry. <laughs> it's like the lighting I got here works perfectly. It works perfectly. Can't believe I just can't believe I'm just uh got some new external lighting here and this is probably the first time I ever used it. But I say for his video for his review this is probably good anyway. But to say in result of this is even has a place you can mount a tripod. Where you can put on your tripod and all that shit. All cameras have that. But to say this would probably be uh it would probably make say I said, if you're doing movies, whatever, and you're uh, looking for video cameras, this would probably make a nice, more decent video prop. Like if you're, say, depicting, say, video vloggers in your films. But I just say, Andrew Zoll is, it's probably definitely... Even then, I say, I say, if you're looking for a star camera, this will be a much better star camera for us. Say, because it comes with everything. Even if you if you see the unboxing video, it came with say an HD card, so or an SD card anyway, which can let you get started. But uh, the reason I buy a separate card for this is because uh, is that probably because it would probably make because it would probably make it would be much more better for uh, review purposes. I said the end result is uh I just say I say for star cameras it'll be a better spare fucking choice. The audio may not be the best may not be the best, but uh even the video quality is probably more better than to say the video and audio quality is much better than to say this shit camera right here I've got in my hand. Shitty camera that's probably as shitty as uh say Favorite cameras I used to fucking make videos with back in the day. Better than the shitty Moose Tech videos and shit. I'd say for a star camera, this would probably be a much better choice for anyway. That's the end, that's the end result for a star camera. If you're uh, looking to use a video prop, whatever, this will be a better choice. But for, for a safe, if you really want to make serious videos, I would not recommend this for serious fucking videos. You probably just buy a real camcorder for that. That's the review of this uh, Minolta MN50 HD.